Snapshots from a world away, an American surgeon's mission across the world to Afghanistan. There were days when really it was quiet, there were no casualties, and other days when multiple casualties came in at multiple times. George Washington University Hospital cardiac surgeon Dr. Frederick Lau began his journey January 2nd. After President Obama's call to increase the number of troops in Afghanistan, the Army Reservists asked to be placed back onto active duty. His assignment, chief trauma surgeon at a Spanish military hospital on a NATO base in the mountains of western Afghanistan. We were the first American team to enter a non-English speaking NATO facility. And that added some extra challenges. All the paperwork, all the computers, all the laptops, all the keyboards were in Spanish. There wasn't much time for adjustment. Dr. Lau says injured soldiers and Afghan nationals arrived at the tiny facility constantly. We saw head injuries, abdominal injuries, uh, some chest injuries, fragment injuries from uh, mortars uh, and IEDs. Part of the job was juggling and treating patients with less than the medical professionals were accustomed to. The makeshift hospital had just two operating rooms, four intensive care beds, and capacity to hold 12 people overnight. A big difference compared to the sprawling, high-tech D.C. hospital that Lau is used to. There was a lot of adrenaline when casualties would come in. Sometimes we would think there was one casualty and three or four or five and six would come in. And sometimes the information was accurate and sometimes it wasn't. So you would think they were relatively low level injury. And then when the door opened in the emergency, in the emergency room, if you will, uh, you found out that information was really incorrect. But while there was plenty of frustration, Dr. Lau says the experience brought him and his fellow surgeons back to the basics of medicine, a refreshing experience compared to the bureaucracy often found in modern health care. There was um, less paperwork, if you would. There is no insurance. So it was straight medicine. If somebody needed a procedure and we had the techniques and the instruments to do it, we would take care of the patients. Looking back now on his three-month stay, Lau says he often thinks of how his former colleagues are holding up as this war continues. You knew the combat situation continued, the trauma continued, and the casualties continued to come in, and so you wondered how people were doing. I feel very fortunate to have been able to do it, really. I'm the lucky person in the whole situation.